Nothing. Nothing again. <sighs> Garth, I really need to talk to you. Uh, what is... Why does my voice sound weird? Oh, shoot, I better not be coming down with anything I... Caitlin? Uh... Caitlin? Caitlin, uh, are, are you okay? No. No, I'm not. Uh, are... Uh... What's wrong? I want Michi dead. I want her to suffer my wrath. Afmao, I can't stand being like this. It's so immature, so silly, so... I mean, I just don't like it at all. Uh, 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 Caitlin, what exactly do you have a problem with? Afmal, I've been a warrior my entire life. In that time, I've commanded a certain respect from people. It's such a self-centered thing, I know, but it's a part of my pride. Ever since I had these cat ears, I've been thrown into a prison half-naked, fed cat food like an animal, and have been... <sighs> cat-called at Scaleswind. Needless to say, I made brutal examples of the men who did that. Not only that, but that brat Dimitri had the nerve to steal my weapons from my room right in front of me. Just this morning, that kid in Nekoet took the last croissant Kawai Chan made for us right in front of me. Caitlin, Caitlin, I, I think you just really need to calm down right now. I, I just feel so pathetic, Afmau. For the first time in my life, I, I can't seem to look past my appearance. I was never concerned about it before. Now I'm even venting this issue to you. I've become soft, and I don't like it, not one bit. Uh, I mean. Caitlin, Caitlin, maybe you're just hungry. Look, you stay right there. I'm gonna go get you something to eat. Uh, oh, that's where all the food is. Let's see. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, oh, we've got some orange juice, I believe. Oh, wow, I grabbed a bunch of them. I don't wanna grab all of them. Uh, some fruit, and what is here? Uh, ooh, there's some toast, some strawberries, and scrambled eggs. Um... You know what? I think Caitlin would like toast. I'm gonna grab her a few pieces of toast. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, Caitlin. Oh, Caitlin. Hey, I got you some yummy toast. Look. Oh, patronizing you. <laughs> that wasn't patronizing you. This is. Come on, Caitlin. Why don't you eat your toasty woasty? Come on. Oh, come on. Here comes the wyvern coming in for a landing. Come on, Caitlin. Open up. You know you want some toast. Caitlin, eat something. Please. No, Caitlin. Come on. No, please. You're not you and you're hungry. Please. Look, look. Even Celeste. Look, even Celeste. Even Celestia. Why did you go over there, Celestia? Even Celestia and Thorgina want to eat. Look. She's eating leftover crumb, egg crumbs, it seems. Look, see, she's eating. F Wait, what, why are these egg crumbs on the floor? Uh, and and Thorgi, Thorgina, she looks confused. <laughs> Mother of Irene, fine, just give me that toast. Here, try some, Caitlin. Come on. Feel better? She pouts. It's not a croissant, but it'll do, I guess. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing, it's just... I've never seen you like this. Truth be told, Caitlin, this is the first time you've ever been really playful with me. It's kind of nice to see another side of you that I didn't know about. She blushes. <sighs> Don't get used to it because it's the last time you'll ever see me like this. The last time I was like this, I was around Jeffrey, and I swore never again. What? Jeffrey? Oh. Uh, speaking of which, what happened with Abby? Did you end up catching her? Um, also, if you don't mind me asking, um, about Jeffrey, were you guys friends or something? I'm not one to hide my feelings when asked directly about them. Jeffrey and I were great friends during our time in the Jury of Nine. He was older than me by a few years, but that didn't stop me from developing a crush on him. Uh, then, when I found out he was killed, I... I needed to do something about it. I... Oh, uh, uh, Caitlin, I... 
I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. It's okay. Honestly, love isn't something on my mind. I haven't found anyone that I want to love in that manner. I just had a crush on Jeffrey. Had he been alive today, maybe something could have happened. But that's not the case. As for Abby, I yelled to her who I was. She stopped and said she wanted nothing to do with me. She has plans for her revenge. I tried to ask her if it was about her father as well as tell her that Zane is in another realm, but she left before I could say anything. Funny, she carries golden weapons like her father did. I... Uh, Caitlin? I'm alright. In fact, I feel better now. I'm gonna be up here for the rest of the day. Even though it's just morning, I just want some solace to myself. Everyone is down in the safe hold. By the way, are you feeling okay? Uh, I mean, better than you, obviously, but why do you ask? Nothing, it's just your voice seems a little off today. Kind of like you're coming down with a cold. You should drink some orange juice or use those powers of yours to get better. Don't get me sick, I swear, that's the last thing I need right now. Okay. I'll try not to. I mean, okay, yeah, I'll stay away from you then. <laughs> um, sorry, I guess. I will take that orange juice. You know what? I'll take it right now. Here, I'll take, um, I don't know why I have three. Can I, like, put them a few back? I don't want them all. <laughs> Fine, I'll take three, I guess. All right. All right, Caitlin, I'm gonna go down and see what's going on. Um, you be Caitlin. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's see... Oh, sh oh, shoot, you scared me, Aaron. Jeez. Uh, there was a lot of commotion going on upstairs over bread. I'm fine here for today. Okay. All right, you can stay there. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Oh, hello, chicken. I don't even know how you got up here. Well, I guess it's not too hard. There's a bunch of logs and stuff like that. Uh, oh, hey. You're back! Ooh, you got ears and a tail. I hope I can control my body well enough one day to be able to do that too. Uh, yeah, you guys get up really early actually. It's it's barely even like sunrise. Jeez, everyone's up in this town so quick. Dream on, Lelo. I'll have ears and a tail before you, just like Yip does when he wants to. What? Oh, you can control that? That's so cool! Uh, oh. He's a baby! She's sound asleep. Oh, sorry, Donna. I kind of acknowledged the baby before you. <laughs> ah! Afmel, you're back! Uh... You're, you're not concerned about the... Uh, I'm gonna twitch my ears at you. Hmm? Oh, that. Yeah. Word got around pretty quick about your condition. Well, Lawrence, Caitlin, and your condition, rather. I'm not shocked by it at all, really. After being with Logan and Yip, not to mention the twins who are just starting to control their werewolf forms, I'm used to this kind of thing by now. She shrugs. In any case, I hope the supplies Logan gave you came in hand. I'll be washing clothes here with the kids. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Like, get you some soup or something. You sound like you're coming down with a cold. Take care of yourself, darling. Uh, thanks. Is it really that noticeable? Jeez, oh, I didn't think it was that noticeable, but okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this orange juice when I can. When I, can. I don't feel like it right now, but still. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Oh. Wow, everyone is up so early here. Um, Malachi. Uh, Logan? Where's Levin? Ah! Mom, good to see you. You're awake. Did you sleep well? Uh, honestly... Better than I have in a few days. Even though the beds and scales were comfortable, it's... Yeah. Glad to hear. Ah, I guess I should have given you an update on the progress we've made in terms of taking back Phoenix Drop. So, we've spent a lot of our time making sure to fortify the walls, which has been a big help. We haven't had a single bandit raid since the wall was repaired. Now we're working on taking back the plaza and making it useful for merchants to come and set up shop. This way, we can have a new influx of supplies. We've already unloaded all the crates aboard the ship from Scaleswind. You guys came on, and Nicole was more than generous with the supplies she gave us. We'll have to thank her. 
She... she was? <laughs> That's wonderful, Malachi! Isn't it? Oh, also, there are a few things for you in the crate from Nicole. When you get a moment, you should go look at them. They were in a package, but Levin accidentally opened it. Don't worry, we didn't read anything. Ah, yes, last thing. Lawrence went to go speak with Sasha. Alexis is standing guard there, so there's no need to worry. Dante should be returning soon, and Levin went with Kyle to guard the outer wall. Now, I need to finish writing this letter. Which also reminds me, if you want to send Nicole that letter about Dimitri, please write it and leave it on the desk here. Logan is about to send this little guy out. Oh, uh, oh, the bird's right there. <laughs> Look at you, little guy. Oh my gosh, it's it's an actual bird. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shocked. It's just I'm not used to birds delivering um, letters. I'm used to. Never mind. Just forget it. Uh, well, well, well. Look at you. First, I hear you were turned into a Mifa. Next, I hear you were engaged to the werewolf Prince Fenner. You really know how to get into trouble now, don't you? I. <sighs> Honestly, Logan, <laughs> trouble seems to find me these days. I, 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 yeah. I'm almost starting to believe it. You really happen to be in wrong places at wrong times. The gods of fate really have it in for you, huh? Well, best not to tempt them. Most merchants believe in fate, which so much is ridiculous. In any case, Malachi tells me you've got a letter to send. I just got this carrier crow thanks to a recent trade. Write whatever you need to in a blank book and specify the place for it to go. Then place the book on the desk. I'm gonna be sending some stuff out soon, so hop to it. Okay, yeah. Um, all right. So I just write in this in the in, the, in a blank book. Uh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, give me a second though. I want to go see how Dimitri's doing. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, oh, <laughs> look at you guys. Uh, the pie is not bad, but it's not. I mean. I want to be honest with you. My mom tells me honesty is best. It's not exactly sweet, but, but I'm sure with a lot more practice, it'll be better. Just keep trying. Oh, huh? I... <laughs> the... Thank you for being honest with me, Dimitri. I'll keep working hard and make the best apple pie. <laughs> Aww, you guys are too sweet. Dante! Uh, Nicoette, it's so great to see you, my little lady. Uh, who's this? Papa, this is my new friend Dimitri. He's really nice and funny. I see. Well, Dimitri, it's nice to meet you. My name is Dante. I'm Nicoette's father. Uh, a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name's Dimitri, heir to the throne of Scaleswind. Huh? Uh, S Scaleswind? You mean... Dante-kun, can Kawai-chan see you inside the house for a bit? There's my sweet little cherry blossom. Not now, Dante-kun. You and Kawai-chan need to talk. Uh, is something wrong? That depends. Kawai-chan, don't play these games with me. Tell me what's wrong. It's personal. Ugh, fine. But I swear, if it's about me eating all the sugar in the house, I swear it wasn't me. It was Nekoet. <laughs> Papa, no fair! You said you wouldn't tell Mama! <laughs> okay, it's sometimes me, but mostly Nekoet. Papa, no! <laughs> I like your dad. <laughs> Be back, kids. Oh, Afmao, I'll be with you in a sec. Koichan's gonna yell at me, it seems. Lawrence is in the old guard station if you're looking for him. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Dante. Good to know. See you in a bit. Uh, I wonder what's going on with those two. Interesting. Uh, oh, hey. Do you really eat all the sugar in the house, Nekoet? He, yes, I do. And me too. My mom hates it. We should go eat the sugar in Auntie Donna's house. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna stay out of this, you guys. I'm gonna go write a letter and go check on the stuff in the docks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's see. All right, grab this here. Um, so just write a quick letter. Okay, let's see. Um, to Nicole, 
of Scales Wind from Akna. Um, dear Nicole, or should I say dearest Nicole? Um, Dimitri stowed away on the ship to Phoenix Drop. He's fine. Um, he's fine. And please come get him soon. <laughs> uh, love, Akma. And I guess I should put some XOXOXs? ZZZOXs, I guess. <laughs> um, X. Oh, there we go. XOXOX. Uh, done. Sign. Uh, to Nicole. There we go. All right. There. I've written my letter and I placed it on the desk so you guys can take it from there. Let's see. I'm going to go to the, the docks because that's where Malachi told me to go. So I can go grab, um, what is it? Whatever's in the crates. That's exactly what I'm going to go do. Let's see. Uh, oh, I guess they already got rid of this stuff. Uh, what's in this one? Oh, uh, chocolate strawberries. Okay. And a letter for Afmal. Uh, interesting. You know what? I, I don't need these books. I don't need these books. I'm gonna put these chili peppers up here. Um, I'm gonna put my sword in the front, actually. I don't even need a bunch of this stuff, but I'm still gonna carry it around. All right, so a letter to Afmao. What does it say? Some strawberries for you and Lawrence to share. Uh, <sighs> Nicole, no, just no. <sighs> I mean, <sighs> nothing, nothing. No I appreciate it, the strawberries, for me. Nicole. Anyway, alright, so I'm gonna go see... I'm actually gonna go see what Lawrence is doing right now. N not to share these with him or anything, but... Um, let's get heading out. <sighs> alright. Uh, let's see. Come over here. Um, huh? Afmao, stop! Don't go any further! I... Uh, what? Uh, Dante? Hey! He's huffing and puffing frantically. Uh, uh, Afmel! Uh, that boy, Dimitri! Is it true he's Nicole's son? When did she have a kid? Uh, um. Uh. Uh. You didn't know? No! I never knew she had a kid! She never even said she was with anyone! She's been avoiding me all these years! Even though I've tried to contact her to see how she's doing, she just ignores everything, and... Uh, who is she with? Uh, I, um... Dante is... Not to be rude, but why do you care? N nicole Uh, just tell me, who is she with? Um, honestly, she didn't say. She just said that Dimitri's father was dead before he was born. She... Didn't mention his name? When Kawaii-chan told me he was Nicole's son, I just... I don't know. I kind of flipped. She was right to bring me into the house. I probably would have started crying if I looked at the kid knowing he was Nicole's. I mean, I know Nicole had to move on, but she never said anything about her family to anyone here in Phoenix Drop. How was she, by the way? Was she in good health? Um... <laughs> Yeah, she's actually fine. She's as spunky as ever. He smiles. Glad to hear. I wish she'd speak with me, but, well, I guess we didn't leave off on good terms. I've tried to make things up to her, but, well, I guess seeing my face is enough to make her mad. I'm glad she found someone she can be happy with. But, wait. If her son is here, does that mean she is too? Uh, no... Um, actually, D Dimitri snuck aboard our ship as a stowaway, and I just sent her a message to come retrieve him, so she should probably be coming here sometime soon, I would imagine. S so she's headed here? That means... Maybe I can tell her I'm sorry to her face. Keep me posted on if she comes here. I'd like to see her again. In the meantime, Dimitri can continue to stay at our place. Kawai chan and Nicole were very close friends. I'm sure she'd be happy with Kawaii-chan watching over her son. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll keep you posted, Dante. Good. You know, Dimitri is a cute kid. 
Pretty handsome if I do say so myself. His father must have been a good looker. <laughs> Especially if he has blue hair. He winks at you. <laughs> yeah, get a hold of yourself, Dante. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back to the safe hold. Just wanted to ask you about that. See ya. <laughs> You're so conceited, I swear. Just because he has blue hair? <laughs> Whatever, Dante. <laughs> Whatever, Dante. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh. Let's see what's going on in here. Uh. Um. Oh, Alexis. Hey. Good morning, Afma. Lawrence, Emmeline, and Kenmer are inside along with Sasha, of course. By the way, you should get some rest. You sound interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Alexis. I appreciate that. <gasps> Emmeline! Afmel, so glad to see you guys back. Lawrence told me everything about your trip and how Scaleswind seems to be void of any books worthwhile to our cause of finding more about your power. However, he also told me you have a better control of it, and the miracle you performed, bringing back that boy to life is just... Wow! <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of scary. I bet. Cadenza sent me a few books she just got in from a telly on Irene, so I'm going to be looking into them with Kinmer tonight. That is, if he comes down. Uh. One second. Uh, is everything okay? Kinmer is in awe of Sasha. I honestly don't know what is going through his mind. One minute he doesn't want anything to do with her, and the next, he's fawning over her. It hurts, I'll admit, but I also understand he needs his closure. In any case, I'm going to continue to skim through these books. I'll get back to you if I find something. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go see what they're up to. Lawrence, why are you standing here? Hey, Afmal. I came here to talk with Sasha about my Shadow Knight form, but according to Emmeline, she's asleep. Kenmer is upstairs with her if you want to see her. I think I'm going to head back to the safe hole for today. We can come question her another time. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and see what's going on. Uh. Oh. She's asleep. Kenmer? She looks so beautiful when she's asleep. I remember how I loved her so, but I've already accepted the fact that she died long ago. Afmau, please. If you can find a way to help me, please do. Or at least... Make me forget her. I just don't know what to do with myself. Uh, uh, she mumbles in her sleep. K Kenmer. Uh, I think I'll leave you two be for now. Um, I'm gonna head to the plaza. <sighs> yeah. A lot's been going on here, it seems. I want to see what work they've done on the plaza to improve it. I mean, I know it's gonna be a slow process to make this place look like it was before, but... Hey, at least it's something, right? <laughs> Look at this place. It looks better than what- it Oh my gosh. They've really been working hard on making this place a little bit... More like home, I guess. It's gonna take a while, but... This place is looking wonderful. I can't wait to see the future of New Phoenix drop. Now I just need to find a place on my own.